Welcome back guys, Toast Crumbs here. Today we're going to be looking at the best methods to get emeralds. Let's go. So I think the first method is probably one you haven't heard of. Using dripstone. Now hear me out, it's, it's not as stupid as it sounds. All you need is a shovel, some dirt, a spot of water, and a spot of water, and some bottles, and drip strainer, of course. Right, so if we have a setup like this, we can use our shovel to grab heaps of dirt. Then we pop it in here. Next step is to use the water bottle to turn it into mud. Now it's a small waiting game. We wait for it to turn into clay. Then we mine the clay and we get some of these clay balls, which can be used to trade with villagers. If you get 10, then you get one emerald. It's a really good tactic because it just takes dirt and water and dripstone. And, and you can go through a horrible mess that you need to terraform to emeralds. It's great. You ready for another one to turn into clay? Abracadabra. Whoa, I got that. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. Right, method two. Sticks. There's no trick to this one. You get wood. Turn it into planks, turn it into sticks. I'd have um, more than one Fletcher for this. As I do 32 sticks for, um, for one emerald. And then eight sticks from four planks. That means you need, for one emerald, you need four logs. So if you get about one, uh, one to two. One, one to one and a half um, emeralds per tree. If you're taking down a forest, just please, please use the wood. Don't burn it. Number three. This is one of the most complicated ones. Automatic farms. Now, because I'm uh, not great at farms, apart from this, I probably won't be able to build one but here's a picture so basically how it works is um, so how it works is a villager gets all the seeds and plants for example carrots or wheat then throws them to another villager oh they throw it to the next villager but um, it goes into a hopper and then goes to you I think is that right sorry mumbo jumbo if I'm wrong and then you can trade with the farmer for lots of emeralds. I think that's how it works. Number four. Using redstone. He built uh, an auto mining machine where you just press a button and open a chest. And a TNT goes flying out and goes through. Mumbo Jumbo's done some in the past. I like Mumbo Jumbo if you hadn't already noticed. But if you do this in the mountain ranges, then you'll be sure to find some emeralds. But that's not even the best part of redstone. As you know, coal is much uh, more common than emeralds. So you can use a machine to get and trade with a fisherman or... Is it a blacksmith? I think a blacksmith to get some emeralds see let's count how many copper we can how much co i keep saying copper coal how much coal we can see here there there 
there, up there. I oh, know there's loads. We'll just go for a mining trip. Great session. Just beware, you don't find much in deep sleep, so don't go looking there. And the final strategy is zombie villagers. Splash potion of weakness. Where's weakness? Aha. Uh -huh. Splash potion of weakness and a gapple. So I think if we throw that at them. And then we give that or is it there you go. I think that's working. And then that means when it turns into a villager, it will have discounted trades. So all of these things will work. And you do this tactic as well. It's just so useful. Then six. Oh, there we go, there we go. Why is it not turning into a fracture? Look! Wait, sorry. That was 20 and now it's 1. Excuse me. Right, do this people. It, it's just... That went from 20, zoom in, 20 to 1. So, uh, there we have it people. That's the video done. Wait, is that another tactic? Use creative. Ah, creative infinite emeralds. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. While you're here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Toast Crumbs and T-Ball Baxter Harley 1. Thank you. Bye.